Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. My name's Jason Mads. I'm with Replay Physio and today we're talking about the V-Pulse Cryo Compression Unit from Reg. So let's have a look at the unit itself and what's actually in the box. The Breg V-Pulse starts with the pump itself. It has a power source. It has a connecting tubing and it will be a, a, a personalized wrap specific to the injured body part that you need to treat today. If we go back to the pump and understand how the pump works, what you need to do is simply turn the lid to the 11 o'clock position, lift the lid off, and that will reveal inside the tub some water containers that need to be frozen and a handle that can be used to hold the water containers once they're frozen. Uh, simply uh, detach the water containers from the handle. These can go to the side. Uh, undo the lid of the ice buckets. Fill these with water and make sure that whilst you're filling them, give yourself some space, uh, usually about two fingers from the top of the filling of the vessel. Put the lid back on and then into the freezer. While you're waiting for those to thaw, Let's go back to the V-Pulse and understand uh, how this unit works. Uh, if you look inside the tub, you can see that uh, there are some markings. The bottom marking is an indication of the water level, which is what we need to put in next. Simply grab a jug of water or place the V-Pulse unit under the tap and pour the water directly into the vessel. You should check that the water line inside matches the water line of the sticker indicator. Once the water is inside and you have uh, your frozen water uh, containers, a little trick when putting the handle back on is to make sure that the stem faces down and not up. Once you have that in place, simply click it together and then with the handle lower the uh, tubs back into the pump itself. That will float on top of the water, but it will provide the cooling necessary for the cryo compression. Once you've uh, got your pump ready, find a position that you want to uh, use the device and plug it in using the cord at the back. Once you've connected the device to power, all that you need to see will occur uh, just above the two uh, outlet valves at the front of the device. The two important functions for cryo compression are both uh, the temperature and the compression. The temperature is indicated by the white light at the top and the intermittent compression therapy is indicated by the blue light down the bottom. You will notice two things that we uh, do not need to be concerned about. One is the DVT outlet for another type of therapy and that other type of therapy is associated with the orange button. So neither of these two uh, parts of this device need to be considered for your treatment today. Once the machine is set up uh, with the two colored buttons in place, what we need to do is then connect our extension connection. What I like to always remember is that there is the logo connects to the logo uh, and simply if it is the other way around, it won't connect. So if you just turn it to the correct way, clip it on, then you know that you're ready to go. The other end simply goes to the extension and will connect to your personalized pad. And the pad is exactly the same as the connection from the other end. Make sure your Breg logo matches with your Breg logo and just click the devices together. Then we need to know how this connects to your body part. We'll have a look at that with a patient in our next section. Now that you have your pump set up and ready to go, it's just about setting your shoulder wrap up for the rest of the operation. Uh, a shoulder wrap typically looks like this. It also has instructions on the actual wrap itself, and it should come with two Velcro wraps to hold it on to the patient. Uh, make sure that your patient is set up in a nice comfortable position before connecting everything and then use them to help you to set it up for the very first time. In this example, we're going to set up for the left shoulder, which uh, if you just want to hold that there, it simply requires making sure that the wraps uh, Velcros go around the correct way. What I like to look for is the horseshoe shape, which uh, goes underneath the armpit or the opposite side 
and note that if I had this up the wrong way, the horseshoe would be facing in the wrong direction. So once you've got it orientated the correct way, uh, the next part is to make sure that your Velcro wraps go on and simply uh, connect the black wrap to the uh, wrap itself. And then the second one before we get going is the arm Velcro wrap. The arm, again, look for the black square that will attach to the Velcro itself. That can go on first and then simply reach under the armpit to secure it tightly at the back of the arm. If there's still a little bit of looseness in the sleeve, this can be adjusted by tightening the Velcro. And that should give you a nice firm fit for the patient without being too over tight. Uh, once you check that uh, the balance of the sleeve is fine, it's simply just connecting the pump sleeve to the extension valve. And once again, make sure that the logos meet up while connecting. Make sure there's no kinks in the hose before turning it on. And then simply pressing the play button to start the treatment. Once you've got your device ready and your patient is in the appropriate position where they're comfortable, uh, the machine is set up ready to go, the next part of the operation is fitting the wrap to the injured body part. In this episode we have a knee wrap and before you begin, there, each wrap has some instructions that you may be able to uh, just get some further tips than this video before putting it on. For the knee uh, wrap, what you want to make sure is that the valve points down the leg and you also want to make sure that the break in the wrap is over the bend of the knee. Uh, simply uh, make sure that all the Velcros are out of the way and uh, can then be wrapped firmly around the body part. And once there's no creases or bends or everything is fine and ready to go, simply come back to the machine and commence the treatment by pressing the play button. Once your pump is ready and you're on to the next step, uh, in this example we're going to demonstrate fitting of the universal sleeve or elbow wrap. Like our other segments, the uh, wraps come with some personalized instructions and in this example we want to make sure that the uh, tube of the wrap points down towards the hand of the same arm. Uh, the universal wraps from this company come with a number of different Velcro options and what I like to do is to find the two smallest of the Velcro options which will attach to the front of the wrap and then to find the smaller arm wrap similar to the shoulder the one that we used in another episode and that can go to the back of the arm. Again what you need to do with the Velcros is make sure that it is the square section of the Velcro that attaches to the wrap itself and then that can uh, attach to the other side as to these will. Uh, what I recommend is finding the location of the injury first. In this example, we're going to use an injury on the outside of the, the arm. And simply, uh, it's putting the arm like the knee so that the crease of the wrap is over the joint of the elbow. And then just folding it onto itself so that the Velcro forms a nice secure connection. If the arm one is a little bit loose, which it may be in some, uh, it comes with this extra uh, tensioning part of the Velcro and that can just make sure that it's all nice and firm before beginning the operation. Once you have the uh, connection established, the extension to the connection follows. It's just simply logo to logo. That connects simply and when you're ready to begin and the patient's comfortable, press play on the pump itself. Now that your cryocompression pump is ready to go, it's simply making sure that the fitting of the wrap is the next step. In this instance, we have a ankle wrap and it, like the other wraps, have uh, some instructions on the outside just to give you some prompts to remind you which way the valve is going to go. For the ankle wrap, the valve always points up the leg and it's simply a matter of opening up the Velcro that's on the wrap itself and getting your patient to put their heel into the bottom of the wrap. So if we get you just to lift up 
and put your heel down the bottom. I like to just pull it up from the back to make sure that it's a nice snug fit. Secure the foot as the next part and then uh, complete the process by sealing the top. You can go back to the foot once uh, the top's done just to make sure that all parts of the wrap are nice and secure. And then the next part is simply matching your extension hose to the outlet valve. Again, just a reminder that the logo to the logo is the best way to do it. They connect snugly, make sure there's no kinks in the line, and then come back to the pump to begin the treatment. Now that you have your V-Pulse pump and wrap fitted successfully, the next question is how much and how frequently to use the device. The recommended amount in the first six weeks following injury is three times a day for one hour per session. Uh, what I like to recommend is a, a morning, a lunch, and an afternoon uh, session so that you space out the dosage to uh, maximize its benefits. Lastly, it's important to note that uh, both the temperature and compression only receive benefits when used for a long, prolonged period of time. What this means is that the temperature might not be as cold as you expect and that the compression may not be as tight as you expect. But the reason for these is so that the prolonged amount of time is able to give you the best benefit. We hope you have enjoyed this demonstration video and we wish you the best outcome for the recovery of your injury.